In the evening of June 2nd, 2021, a Lincoln County deputy in Wisconsin assists a citizen who is broken down on the road. While assisting the citizen, the deputy kept an ear on his police radio. Through the radio, the deputy is informed that a nearby off-duty officer in an unmarked police car is following a stolen vehicle. I think I'm behind it right now. It's at K&Q and Q and I see that there was a squad on a traffic stop. Is it going south north, to Marathon County or north? Northbound into Lincoln. Oh, yeah, okay. It's at K and Q right now. Okay. Dean or somebody's on a traffic stop right there. Yeah. Do you want to get him on the horn? Okay, I'm, I just gave it out. The deputy quickly runs to his squad and begins pursuing the stolen vehicle. He's coming. He's coming up behind me now. Okay. Does he oh, sound like he's got it? Yeah, he's gonna get it. He's going 1080. He's 1080. Going 1080. Okay. 1080. Got it. Okay. Gotta go. The stolen car vanishes into a billow of smoke. Officers fear the worst. Piercing the smoke, we see only shredded remains, but a far more horrifying scene plays out off camera. The officer hurries to grab a fire extinguisher, hoping he's not too late. Moments ago, Officer Lang was field training a new recruit, but the same call would lead to a lesson he wasn't expecting to teach. The driver lost control of the vehicle, and it reportedly went airborne. The driver was ejected from the vehicle during this process. As the second officer pulls up only seconds after, you can see just how demolished the car is, as it is nearly wrapped around this tree. After the officers pull up, they immediately put out a fire burning from the car with the proper equipment supplied in their squads. Unfortunately, the accident is fatal, and it is clear to see why, looking at these evidence photos taken after the fact. The victim is not visible in these photos as he was not wearing his seatbelt and was found more than 50 feet from the scene. According to court records, the driver of the crash had a comparatively lighter record than other perpetrators who appear in our videos. Between 2019 and 2020, it appears the driver had attempted to flee officers on one occasion, though the severity of the pass case seems light. That particular incident lists no charges for endangering safety nor resisting arrest. Additionally, he has a charge for driving without a valid license and a separate charge for driving without a seatbelt. The jump from these very petty crimes to the alleged stealing of a vehicle to fleeing officers at lethal speeds is surprising. His lack of wearing a seatbelt combined with extreme speeds resulted in him going airborne and crashing into a fixed object. The series of compounding poor decisions tragically led to the loss of his life. Out of respect for the deceased, this video has been carefully edited to exclude any content showing images of the suspect or his injuries.